Hello and good day my friends. Welcome back to Mass Effect Andromeda. Last time when we were together we discovered who uh, what? Who was the charlatan? It was raised the whole time. I called that thing from a mile away. But anyways, we are now here in Kadara Port again to talk to Sloane because she apparently wants to talk to us about some details. So let's see what she wants to say. Pathfinder. Come to collect on the debt I owe you. Maybe I came to check on Kytus. Ever think of that? Uh, he's fine. Recovering. Glad to hear it. You're a real pain in the ass, you know that? I've heard that before. <sighs> but you did save my life. I know the Nexus needs outposts. Kadara's in better shape than most planets. Tan might not admit it. But settling an outpost here is a good move. The first step to reconciliation. That isn't what this is. I'm not working with Tan, I'm working with you. The Nexus exiled us to die. I've neither forgiven nor forgotten that. Both parties have a right to be angry. But this outpost is our chance for a better future. Together. Your diplomatic bullshit won't work on me. I get a cut of whatever your settlers produce. Think of it as a protection fee. Plenty of collectives still running around. Wouldn't want them to get ideas. That almost sounds like extortion. Do we have a deal? Are you going to be nice to me now? Don't push your luck, Scott. <laughs> Yay. Okay, so this means Pathfinder. we can go... Kadara is now a viable option for an outpost. The Badlands still aren't exactly safe. But with Sloane's protection, we should be okay. Okay, let's go settle an outpost, shall we? This is going to be fun. And we'll also probably do a few more of the side quests, too, just in case Kadara's port isn't exactly 100% viable. I want to get it to that point before we leave for Elaine. What, what keeps triggering over here? Okay, you see, it's like we get something right here. Okay, it's a little bit over this way, and then it disappears. Okay, is it this way? No. Is it this data pad? Okay. Don't know why we care about a booze run. Whoa, things just freaked out there for a minute then. But for now, let's go ahead and get to this outpost so we can finally settle it. And also unlock some more pods that we can get some more goodies with. To the console. Uh, select destination. To the slums. I'm actually kind of curious what we're going to call this place. Oh yeah, and I've actually, uh, let's see. Uh, weapon category. I decided to get a better sorry sword, so it's a bit more powerful. Uh, actually, it's a bit better than the previous one I have. At least 200 more damage. So let's equip that. Um... I also got a new rifle that I want to test out. Oh, no, I didn't get it. Right, because I don't have the materials for it. Damn, I got a new one that supposedly... I found out that all remnant guns, they have infinite ammo. All of them. So, there are, like, some upgrades you can do to certain guns that you can get them to be equipped to have infinite ammo. I may do that to, like, the Black Widow, which I have been carrying around, but not this time around. For now, we'll just leave it as is. Okay, uh, people, who do we want to bring with us? Uh, I want to keep Drac with us, but, uh, you know, let's bring Liam with us. We haven't exactly brought him along. Plus, I kind of wanted to hear what he says to Drac half of the time. Should be interesting. So, the plans for this episode are going to be, we are going to... First, settle this outpost, and then maybe do like a side quest or two, depending on if it's completely viable or not. Um, kind of depends, really. I got, I'm in a little bit of a mood for doing some side quests. Uh, then after that, we'll definitely go to a lane, because, well, one, we need to find out where the... Wait, we did find the Turian Arc. I keep forgetting that. Though it hasn't shown up to the, to the Nexus, which is... It's concerning, depending on how you look at it. Anyways, Pathfinder. jam. Kadara is now a viable option yes, for I know. 
Jam. The Badlands still aren't exactly safe, but with the collective's protection, we should be okay. That's fine. Jam. What's going on here? For a drink? Fuck off. This one's ours. Looting's wrong. <laughs> this guy for real? <laughs> Looting is wrong. What a little bitch. Let's not antagonize them further, Pathfinder. I said fuck off. Okay. Well, apparently there's a quest here, but I don't know what the reason was. Yeah, looting is wrong. It's like, can I just kill them and move on? Yes, okay, kind of an extreme point, but it's like, I got the guns to prove it. Anyways, so let's see. We need to settle the outpost. Uh, scan for corpses. Oh, okay. Uh, let's go ahead and actually do that real quick. Uh... Since we're kind of right here. Oh wait, that means there's like one more body somewhere, isn't it? Ah, it, what do you know? It's at the outpost we need to go to. That's kind of... wonder it's toxic. The shit's on fire. Okay. Don't know what that's about. Now, there's a body somewhere here that we need to scan. Come on, where is it? Oh, it's right over there. Right, this was a quest that I picked up when we were talking to that lady that was just outside the area. Okay, so we need to scan a corpse. There's the corpse. Uh, let's this see, disease. here, as Anaris claimed. I have recorded the location and relevant DNA information for any future investigation. Okay. And then there's another one somewhere over here. Okay, this is going to be a bit of a jump. Oh. Ooh. We landed in the water, but that apparently was okay. Okay, where is this body? There it is. Another murder victim. I have logged the relevant information. Thank you, Jarvis. And we got one more, which is just over there. It's going to be a little bit of a hike, but we can do it. Now the question is, can we make it across the Lake of Death? Okay, we got here... Uh... We have run out of areas to jump to. Well, let's see if we can make it over here somehow. Okay, come on, get out of the water. Wait, the water didn't hurt us? Is it fine? The water's fine. Okay. I thought the water was going to hurt us or something. It's probably because we went to the vault and already cured it. That is not a problem for us. But, I don't exactly want to continue testing the theory, though. Let's just scan this last body and then we'll head over to the settlement site. Come on. Okay, where... Oh, where is this body? Oh, there it is. Hey, buddy. Another murder victim. I have logged the relevant information. Okay. Now that you got that, we can actually head over to this point here. Uh, question is, where's the closest point? Looks like it's this one. Here we go. Once we get here, we'll call in the Nomad if it's or not already deployed, and we'll head to the location to put down the settlement. And then we'll scan the last two buddies. Uh-oh. <laughs> My Nomad, it already wants to go. Okay, now that we got it, uh, let's see. Beggars run. Don't really care about that. There we go. We want to create an outpost. Yep, these enemies are going to spawn, but we don't care. Bye. Kid, the more I hate them. Kid, you got to catch up. All things equal, fights are one by the side that starts at 100% before the other guy knows. Okay. This area is viable for an initiative outpost pathfinder. All right. Let's do it then. First, let's go ahead and exit our Nexus ride, or Nomad, sorry. Let's activate the outpost. Confirmed. Calling outpost. Do we actually get to see it come down, like on EOS, or is it just going to skip it like it did on Vold? Amazing. This may piss off as many people as you manage to feed. Director? I trust you're enjoying the show? 
I'm enjoying the progress. The show part is something else entirely. Honestly, an outpost on Kadara, where the worst of our exiles stake their claim? You better be sure about this. We can't turn our backs. The initiative failed them. You weren't there, but you're here now, and it's your call. It's a win, and we'll take wins wherever we can get them. You need to do this again. Another step forward, but of course there's more. There's always more. Time for the public address. Think you can distill something motivational out of this? Something to sell Kadara? You'll actually run it? I may have concerns, but my ledger has one more outpost than it did yesterday. Sell it. I won't lie. Kadara put up a fight. A lot of people pushed to extremes. But we're going to stay. We didn't come to Andromeda because it was easy. And we're not leaving Kadara because it's hard. For posterity, Pathfinder. Addison out. Okay, and oh, we are so close. Look at that. It's 97% viability. So, yeah, we're going to go ahead and bring that up. Ooh, we unlocked another threshold. Lovely. Wait, an Ungarian? I didn't realize you guys were here. Well, actually, no, I should have realized that this was an Ungarian planet before we arrived. Okay, so boost the signal. Uh, okay. Oh, right. This was a side quest I picked up a while ago. Basically, there's the radio guy, the Agent S, back on the Nexus, and he wants us to set up uh, little beacons that we can use to be able to... Uh, sorry, trying to think about I've this. I've located a suitable site for an HNS receiver, Pathfinder. Nav point is set. Yep. But, uh, basically what he wants us to do is to put up more radio beacons at all the outposts so basically they can receive radio reports or news from the Nexus, which is all good and dandy. But for right now, we got to kind of clear this place up a little bit. Kind of see what else we can find. Okay, so first things first. Hi. Nice day for a stroll, huh? Don't mind our friend here. He's uh just tired. He did a little nap as all. Be good as new. You guys aren't fooling anyone, but since I can't do anything about it, we'll just believe you're telling the Another truth. Another murder victim. I have looked the relevant information. That's fine. Now apparently there's another little quest here, so uh Oh, right! This was, uh, Cash. She wanted us to find some booze. We can do that. Uh, but let's go ahead and head over here first, because apparently there's a little chest that we can find. Unless if it's right here, in which case that just serves us just fine. Okay, head up. And, oh, wow. Come on, make the jump. Bootleg. Pathfinder. What'll it be? Bottle of your hardest stuff. This is for Superintendent Cash. Make it six. <laughs> Yay! Okay, so we got a bottle for uh, Cash, but the question is, where is this packet that we're supposed to find? It's not up there, is it? Where is it? Okay. So it's somewhere here. Is it this thing? Apparently it's below me. No, it's above? Oh, it's right there. Okay, there we go. It wasn't showing me the Y button for any re reason. Okay, so now that we've done that, uh, where's the last body that we need to find? Okay, so there's one more corpse over there, uh, and there's a receiver. Actually, let's go ahead and put that receiver up. Uh, but to do that, we'll definitely need to go grab the Nomad, which is over there. And we'll need to run this way to make our way back, because, yeah, I found this out pretty quickly. Uh, we can't swim. We have... Oh, what is it? Aiden? No, it's not Aiden. Altair. There we go. Altairitis. The abil not inability to swim in a video game. 
We can stand in water, that's just fine, but swimming? Nah, nope, we can't do that. Okay, joke. So, everything's going... Wait, what is this parking job? I want to talk to the or the attendant that parked my Nomad. He did a really bad job. Anywho, let's make our way over to where they want this receiver to be placed. We've got targets! No, nope. well, we may have targets, but I'm gone. Uh, I'm coming right back. Okay. Where are these targets? You want to say hello? Say goodbye? Wait, it's a bug? Seriously, Ryder? You're freaking out over a bug? Not exactly a big deal. Looks like we can make it over here and boost our way over this. Come on, hold it, hold it. Oh, don't fly over the mountain. We need to get over here. Hold it, hold it, hold it. Nice. Good job. Almost there. And... Booyah! Let's set up this receiver. I think it's right over here. Activate. Helios News Service now broadcasting live. Really? We don't even get any experience for this? Damn it. No, of course, it wants us to set up a signal over on uh, Elaine, but we don't have anything there, so we're going to save that for later. For now, let's see if we can go and find that last corpse we need to find. Just somewhere this way, so... Tally-ho! Oh, too much tally-ho, too much tally-ho. <laughs> let's just turn around semi-slowly and continue on our merry way. Now the question is, how do we get there the quickest? Quickest is over this mountain. Come on, over the mountain. There we go. And just make our way over to where we need to go. Oh, it looks like we got company coming down. Is this a place we've been to yet, or is not it yet? Well, don't really know. We're just gonna barrel through them. Yeah, shoot at us all you want. It's not going to make a difference. Barely touch, take down the shields anyway. Okay, so we need to make our way over to that little inlet. And alley up. Bear and good. Okay, so where's this body that we need to scan? Scanning body and look. That should do it. We found all we can. Let's get back to Cenaris. Okay, and where is Cenaris? Okay, she's back here near this forward station, so let's go ahead and fast travel. And hopefully this will bring it up to 100% viability. Otherwise, there is another quest I wanted to do. Um, well, we did have an emergency SOS a long time ago. Yeah, it's kind of bad to say that they sent out an SOS. We said we heard them and are on our way, and then don't come for a year <laughs> later. Ah, uh, gotta love it. Now, let's make our way to this checkpoint and turn in this What's quest. What's the biggest thing on Earth? Biggest animal? We had some extinct monsters back when the air was real rich, um, but when I left, suppose it'd be the blue whale. The blue whale. Ever fight one? Sure. Why not? <laughs> I don't think that's the answer he was looking for. But then again, that might be a politically correct one when dealing with a Krogan. Hi again. Do you have the locations of the victims? It's the only way to make sure justice is served. Or you could give the data to me for a quick reward. Something real. Someone has to be held accountable for these murders. Thank you. A civilization is nothing without justice. Oh, wow. We are so close. We're just a 1% away from getting full viability. Okay, then, so let's see what quests we have. Uh, you found a settlement littered with dead Ungarians. That sounds like a quest we could do. Or we could get the transponder for the Ungarian, or, or for the Archon. It's definitely something to consider. I think we're going to go ahead and do the quest. We're going to bypass the Archon for now, but we'll head and do the... Ungarian deaths, and then, eh, depending on where we end up, I think we might go ahead and do the SOS as well. It kind of really just depends on what the Ungarians do for us. Maybe I'll do the SOS later, 
It's not exactly critical, but then again, who really knows? Um. Um. Okay. That was weird. Alright, well, in any case, moving swiftly on from that, let's go ahead and check out the Ungarian bodies, which should be this way. Excuse us, gentlemen. Yeah, the one thing I realized very quickly on about having a scientific focus to my outpost, uh, it's not very scientific or logical to put a science outpost here where it's kind of all crime and villainy. Yes, Sloan said she'd protect us, but she didn't exactly protect herself too well, did she now? Okay, apparently we got a chest nearby? Where is this? Oh, it's right there. Let's go ahead and just pick that up real quick. I mean, it's right here, so we might as well. Um, never mind. Okay, we'll go pick up that later. <laughs> you've been around. Bet you've seen some real crazies. Not just in Helios. Save it, kid. Go bug someone else. What the hell? What was that for? I've seen a thousand humans like you. Don't make me pretend you are the one who won't die. You're what, two? Come back when there's hair on whatever it is you have. Ooh, come on, Liam. Get back at him. Show him who's boss. Show him you're the real... Actually, I don't know. Are you Scottish or Irish? I don't know. You're something. Anywho. Uh, let's go ahead and check out what's in here. Okay, so where's the Ungarian bodies that we're supposed to find? Black and stomach and ulceration, consistent with poisoning by sulfuric acid. Most likely from consuming Kadara's water without proper filtration. The Angara have lived on Kadara longer than us. They'd know better than to drink unfiltered water. I suggest we examine the town's water supply. Well, we'll do that, but first, let's go ahead and grab everything here. Hmm, that's encrypted. Sam, can you get us in? Yes. One moment, please. This log belonged to Skylar Yafir, an Angara who lived here. Play the first log, Sam. More and more aliens keep showing up. They are desperate, dirty things who will pay anything for a slab of ardhi and clean water. I thought all was lost when the cat invaded, but maybe our luck's changing. Let's hear the second log. Today, I caught one of the aliens studying our filtration system. I had Karina and her sisters guard the facility. If these exiles learn how to make their own water filters, they won't need us anymore. Final log, Sam. Some of the aliens have set up shelter not far from here. They call it Caribdis Point. A band of them came today demanding we hand over our water filters. Karina and the others were able to drive them off. But I fear the desperate look in their eyes. That's enough. Interesting. Wait, do we need to scan this Hungarian? No, that one's apparently already been scanned. Interesting. So, humans came looking for their source of their water filtration system. And they didn't decide to hang it over. Hand it over. Whoa. Whoa. Okay. That's a lot of dead bodies. Someone has tampered with the filter. The Angara ingested only enough sulfuric acid to be lethal over time. But not enough that they'd notice right away. Skylar's log mentioned trouble with exiles. Let's check out this car of this point. Yeah, because if they start poisoning us, that's gonna be a problem. Okay, let's make our way back to the Nomad. In we go, everybody. Okay, so where do we need to go now? Let's first off get rid of that. Uh, I don't care about the transporter. Oh, we just need to go back there. Okay. That we can do. And we actually just may just pick up the transporter now. Ooh, who knows? Maybe it'll be worth it. I just don't want to trigger an end event if we do that. That's the thing. That's why I've kind of pretty much put off trying to collect it. Since you're on the team, how many Krogan can you bring back? 
counting me? A good one, give or take. But you're on our team. The Krogan. Exiles too. They left a lost cause. We got a lot of work to do, kid. Yep, and we will get to it. But first, I need to find out where this little cache is. Na 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 na. Oh, there she is. Open. Okay, let's take it all. Anything really good? Ooh, a shotgun attachment. Hey, Drac, nice of you to teleport up here. Alright. Let's go ahead and get into Nomad. And make our way to this point here. And I'll pick up the thing from the Archon. I will, hopefully it doesn't activate too much, but we might as well pick it up. I mean, we've been past it twice right. now. Pathfinder. Then Jarev claimed he buried the Ket transponder near this location. Yep. I know he did, but right now we're here to investigate a different matter. Oh, the Ket transponder. Found it. That thing's busted. The transponder's power source is drained. So let's juice it up. Turn it on, then Gil can work his magic. Once complete, this should provide us with the Archon's location, and in turn, Meridian's. See? We're halfway there already. Yep. Only easy stuff ahead. <laughs> okay. Well, the good news is we didn't trigger anything right off. Uh, I need to check my email. Okay. Hello. Some protein will do it. Welcome to Car of This Point. Name's Malix. You looking for a place to hole up? Got some open beds. Food and clean water cost extra. Take it you don't have any private rooms? I could put up a sheet. I'll pass. Suit yourself. How'd you end up on Kadara? Followed Sloan from the Nexus, but couldn't pay her protection fees. No fancy port for me. She forced you out? Those are the rules. Can't pay the fees, can't live on the mountain. First few months were tough. No water, no weapons to hunt. I really thought I was gonna die out here. You obviously pulled through. I didn't travel 600 years to starve to death. I found other exiles. Put the strength in numbers theory to the test. Thus, Carib Dispoint was born. You get a lot of business out here? Our establishment might not look like much, but spend a few nights in the Badlands and we're practically hotel azure. Clean beds, warm grub, and the only place for miles with properly filtered water. Serious amenities on Kadara. My squad and I came across an Angaran town not far from here. The inhabitants were poisoned. Their water filters had been tampered with. Nasty way to go. I know Karabdis Point was causing trouble for the Angara. Really? It's news to me. I just sell beds. And clean water? I don't like what you're implying, Pathfinder. Either rent a bed or get the fuck out. Please. Okay, so what am I supposed to do here? Well, I can steal your stuff, apparently. What, do I just, like, tamper with your water supply? Okay, I'm up here. What am I doing? Okay, I'm down here now. Maybe it's in here? Water filters. The make and design matches those found in the Angaran town. Guess it was too much to hope exiles weren't involved. Maybe there's another explanation? Hey. <sighs> you just couldn't leave it alone. These filters. You stole the design from the Angara, didn't you? This doesn't concern you. Walk away. Before you can't. You murdered an entire town. I'm not leaving until I know why. 
We came to them, starving, dying of thirst. But instead of helping us, those flapheads bled us dry. Credits, clothes, weapons. They took everything. Not everything. You survived. You set up here. The Angara are the only ones who know how to properly filter this planet's water. All we wanted was to be self-sufficient. I offered to pay for the designs. They refused. So you poisoned them? And took all their business. You're a monster. No. I'm a survivor. Kill them. This was not your best plan, Bob. Kill them. Uh, yeah, a Krogan and a, you know, a Pathfinder. I was about to say Spectre, but I'm not exactly a Spectre. So thank you for that, Drax. <laughs> I love this guy. Guys, got the kill. Someone's on my level over here. Hey, Anarchus. It's a pleasure to be here. There we go. Yes, try and shoot me, little one. It will do you no good. At least the Angara got some justice. No small victory, kid. Uh, yep. We were able to help the Angarans. Well, it looks like that's pretty much it, at least for this place. There's a whole bunch of chests and mining zones that I'm probably going to go and clear off camera. And uh, I don't know about that quest over there. Maybe, maybe not. Let's actually check our journal. Uh, let's see. Uh, Helis assignments, Kadara. Yeah, we got the emergency SOS and... Wait, the Baralite Rush... I don't remember what this one was. Huh. Wait, where was that one that we had from the Nexus? Uh, Life on the Frontier. Okay, there we go. This was the one we got from Sid a while ago, so... Let's go ahead... Yeah, well, we got time. If I cut out the travel time, we'll go ahead and be there. So, guys... We'll be back once we get to EOS, and we'll see what goes on from there. See you guys when we get to EOS. Fly, Pat. What the? Find something? Something pinged us. An ID request. The Tempest auto-responded. We'll keep an eye out in the sector. Okay. Well, I just arrived and you guys probably just heard what that just all said. Hopefully I remembered to cut this right. Uh, we got pinged by something. Don't know what, but... We're going to the planet, so... Uh, let's see, squad. Uh, Liam, you weren't really all that interesting to bring along. Uh, let's bring Jal. Jal and Drac. That should be an interesting combination. Okay, let's confirm and move out, people. The scent is green. Coordinating. Path is calm. Okay, well, we arrived back on Eos, and we're going to go ahead and talk to this person that we need about the Life on the Frontier mission. Now, to kind of catch you up on to speed on things, uh, Sid contacted us on the Nexus and told us about uh, certain settlers kind of going missing or supplies getting attacked. We ran around scanning them all and it led back to Eos. Now, let's see what this is all about. Hey, buddy. Is your name Yale? Yeah, that's me, Stanton Yale. What can I do for the Pathfinder today? Tell me about the Three Sabres. Oh, shit. Well, that reaction tells me all I need to know. Look, I just didn't think anyone would find out about it, okay? It's something that ought to be left alone. We made a mistake. Explain. The new outposts, our supply routes, they need a protection. We couldn't rely on just you. 
I proposed that we'd save Nexus blood by hiring exiles to fight for us. First time I've seen someone so coldly calculating and stupid in one shot. It was a risk, sure, but I knew Cochrane. We served together. I thought I could trust him. I became their commander, I armed them, I shared access to Pedromo's operations. And then they took their new toys and went rogue. Attacked people they were supposed to protect. I've dealt with the three sabers. They won't be a problem. Damn. They're... gone, then. Shit. Cochrane. He was a good man. Once. Addison will be pleased, at least. One loose end tied up. Addison knew? She wasn't sure Ryder would work out as Pathfinder. She was desperate for options. It doesn't even matter anymore. The three sabers are gone. Just let this blow over. I have to get back to work. We've got an outpost to run here. Ooh. So Addison knew about this? Oh, she's getting in big trouble now. I mean, we already got problems with the initiative leadership, and now she pulls this one on us? Yeah, great. Yes. We want the Nomad, and we want to extract to the Tempest, which is right over there, but I'm lazy. I want to use the automatic option. Ascent is go. <laughs> Leaving at home. All clear. Thank you. Now, the question is, do we get the option to see what that pinging was about? Is it the transponder? Is this Mass Effect 2 all over again? Because <laughs> I swear, if this is Mass Effect 2 again... Okay. Gil's been asking if you can come by. I know, but there's a reason why I don't want to talk to him yet. Now you're going to tell me about this all the time. Right, apparently we got some emails. Uh, meeting with Axul. Uh, Jal expressed to you that you wish to meet with Axul. It has been a long time since he's he and I spoke. He was so ch changed by the cat. It was difficult to talk to him. Perhaps time has passed. Together we can reach with him and arrange a meeting with the laboratory. And Aya, please come at your earliest convenience. Okay. That sounds like a good one. Uh, diplomatic efforts on Aya. Uh, when we left our old home, we never planned on having to negotiate with an alien civilization for a new one. It is vital we palisade the Angar and keep them on our side. They've opened an embassy on Aya, and our diplomatic team is already sending in. I'm counting you to you know, establish ties with the resistance leader, Mashai, and Aya's governor. Can you learn everything about them and supporters? The better we understand players. cultures. Okay. Uh... Well, Rays, I may have shot you in the back, but can't really blame me. Uh, let's see. It was a scam. Do me a favor and don't tell Vetra, okay? Okay. And Sloan Kelly, don't expect these regulars. I just want you to you know that I'm keeping up my end of the bargain. Your outpost is safe from the collective and the rest of the crazies in the badlands. Sloan. Okay. Well, that's good to know. But for now, we got a mission to do. Okay, so first off... Um, Anomaly on sensors. What is this anomaly? Deploying probe. That a satellite? Is that what pinged us in this sector? It's pulsing an initiative call response code. Someone knows our tech inside and out. Let's get a scan. Okay, what is this? Let's go ahead and skip the travel since we're almost here. What the hell happened? Anti-trackback measure? Drive system overloaded. Not quick enough, though. I got a serial that has triggered an alert. Pathfinder, we are to contact Director Addison as soon as possible. What is going on? Uh... Okay, apparently we can talk to Addison about something that happened. Okay, let's go ahead and do that real quick and then we're gonna end the episode. Oh geez, this one's going to be a long one, isn't it? Oh boy. This one may have been cut into two episodes. I do you apologize, but... Yeah, yeah, yeah. I want to go talk to Addison first. Come on. What do we got? 
You have pending vi- Ryder, tell me about the satellite you found. Director? What are you talking about? My alert identified a ZK resource tracker. They're emergency tech, full of overrides so they can bypass protocol. They were designed by Dr. Zoe Jean Kennedy. She disappeared with the exiles. If her tech has shown up, that could give someone a backdoor to steal from your outposts. She disappeared with the exiles, but you aren't calling her one? She sympathized, but we'd never let an expert like that go. She was vital. But in the chaos, a lot of things, and people, went missing. Why were these trackers allowed to bypass protocols? They're supposed to be hubs. To rapidly track and pull resources if lives are at stake somewhere. That's why they weren't deployed. Tan didn't like anyone bypassing his rubber stand. If this satellite is new, how is it kept up with our security measures? That's a very good question. What was Dr. Kennedy's role in the initiative? She designed the orbital beacons, forward stations, and half the kit in the Tempest. She'd ram an upgrade through before the requisition was on Tan's desk. Dr. Kennedy disappeared along with the Exiles. That was a big loss. Pretty extreme to set up a personal alert. Why do that? A lot of Dr. Kennedy's projects were unofficial. But you backed them, like these trackers. I don't want some asshole using my access codes to cut a backdoor into our resources, or Tan blaming me for it. But I also want to know what happened to her. If we have to find the tech or the person, where do we begin? You got a sliver of data from the first tracker. With more scans, maybe Suvi can assemble a point of origin. Obviously, these trackers are being deployed where initiative tech is concentrated. That means outposts. Try another outpost system, or place more. Maybe you'll draw them out, whoever they are. And when we find them? They're stealing our resources. My concern is Dr. Kennedy, her tech, their lives. In that order. Okay. Well, definitely a lot of stuff to do, guys, but I'm going to definitely end the episode here. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed, please leave a like and a comment down below. And next time we get together, we'll be going to talk to Addison. We'll be talking to her about the three size sizers. I don't know. I can't keep up with these names. There's too much to remember. At least I remember Kadara right now. But thank you guys for watching. See you in the next one. Bye-bye.